St. John Vianney Minor Seminary Jazz Plateau State, established in 1958 in the Catholic Archdiocese of Jazz, has produced priests and individuals excelling in various spheres of life's endeavors. This year, the institution organized a speech and prize giving day to reward students who excelled in their academics. City of Jazz correspondent Walbi Ogak completes the report. St. John Vianney Minor Seminary, Barkin Ladi, established in 1958 in the Archdiocese of Jos, has produced priests and individuals sailing in various human endeavors. The guest speaker, Reverend Father Dr. Stephen Akpe, while speaking on the team, imbibing the culture of excellence, urged the graduating seminarians to emulate those who had graduated before them and are excelling in various endeavors. There is a little of people who have elevated themselves in different areas of life. Coming out of this school, there are old boys who have demonstrated resilience, hard work, devotion and commitment. Let me salute the efforts and also mention here some of the best of this school are John Larry of ITF, Justice Professor Benedict Kanye, who is of the Industrial Court, the now Bishop David Ajan of Laughter Diocese, and also my friend Charles Use, the country representative of Park International, who are among others. None of them achieve these feats overnight. They all labor night and day to attain, attain such hard. The chairman of the occasion, Dr. Jude Okbara, well congratulating the seminarians, eulogized the rector and management staff for their efforts in transforming the institution. When you walk around this seminary today without fear of equivocation, I think our noble rector have done great. And it's my prayer that the Almighty God who ordained him, who brought him here, will reward him abundantly. The rector of the St. John Vianney Minor Seminary, Reverend Father Dr. Gideon Poikim, appreciated the resilience and determinations of the graduating seminarians to achieve success. For our graduates in 2023, the 60th set in the history of our great seminary, I congratulate you for your resilience and determination which saw you through these years of formation. You came here 75, but 53 of you are graduating. I can tell you every sense of modesty that you came here, you saw, and then you conquered. And we're proud of what you have been achieved. You can call yourself survivors because you survived all these six years of formation. Earlier, during the Thanksgiving Mass, the officiating priest, very Reverend Father Paul Wakpe, in a homely, urge the seminarians to continue working hard because what they will become tomorrow depends on what they are doing today. Who you have tomorrow depends on much on how you live today. A solid Catholic education is not just meant to prepare you to make a good living, to do well. A Catholic education is to help you learn the ways of being good and living well. The outgoing senior prophet, Tong Shinen Victor, expressed the readiness of the graduating students to be good ambassadors of the minor seminary. Today is a turning point in our lives. We have spent these past six years watching the walls of this noble school, and now we have been equipped to move on. We have learned, laughed, loved, gotten into trouble, and most importantly, matured together. The event climaxed with the unveiling of the school magazine, induction of graduating seminarians into Berkin Ladi All Boys Association, Global, presentation of prizes to the deserving students, and dance performance. Walbe Ogag reports from JOS.